Today's Wednesday, we're here at the Camera Co-op, and I'm here with uh, Jim, and we had talked a little while back about him hand-tinting one of his black and white photos, and he brought it in today, so I'm excited. So, are you going to show it to us? Yes, okay, cool. and actually you, the cameraman, yeah. uh, and the uh, the host, uh, it was your suggestion to, you said, hey Jim, are you going to hand-tint this one? But you did it, so and I'm giving so, you credit. So I did it, so uh, I kind of, and uh, here it is. There it is, awesome. All right. That is cool. Gosh, it did really turn out nice. I wish there wasn't so much glare off the glass here, but this would kind of give people an idea. I could actually take it off the wall if you'd like. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Should we go? You want to step outside? Sure, then? sure, yeah. Let's check it out. He even did the, the background as a different color. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. That's better. That is so cool. Yeah, it really turned out nice. Yeah, I really, really do like it. You should try to sell that, I think. Or, I mean, that's uh, I like to have it here at the shop, too, but I'm just saying it, that would probably sell. I think it would, and there is a story behind it, so... Yeah, tell me. I, okay. was, at, I was at a gas station, I was pumping gas, and I noticed this, this man over standing just outside the gas station, and uh, he kind of reminded me of uh, Eric Clapton, kind of, sort of. I don't know why. Well, I guess he just seemed to have that look, uh, like... So I did. I went over. I spoke to him, and I kind of thought he might have been a biker. And mm -hmm. I think maybe he was a motorcyclist at one time, or had a motorcycle. And uh, he kind of told me a bit of his life story. That uh, he uh, he came down here, and he worked with his best friend. His best friend owned a company, an electric company, and he was kind of an electrician journeyman. And uh, he made pretty decent money working with his good friend and something happened to his friend. He got killed evidently in a motorcycle accident. And uh, this gentleman right here, uh, uh, being that he was his good friend, was he even seemed devastated now, even when he told me the story, you know, what happened. And uh, he said, you know, this really isn't me, this situation with me, you know, uh, kind of the way I am or how I'm living. And, uh, Kind of, I kind of thought, well, maybe a victim of circumstance or, you know, whatever. Anyway, uh, so I wound up giving him a lift, and I gave him a lift uh, not too far. I normally don't drive people in my truck, but I gave him a lift, and that's when he told me his, his, his story there. And uh, anyway, I gave him a little, a little money after, you know, uh, and uh, he actually started to cry, and... Uh, Mm -hmm. You know, it was a. Uh, he was so happy that I. But anyway, um, I kind of think I'm, I probably felt better than than he did you know, when I gave him the money. You know, but, uh, <laughs> sometimes I think it, it works, works that, that way. way. It so, does work that way. Yeah. Anyway, um, very cool story. Though. That's yeah. that's the story. And you got a great photo of him too. Yeah. Huh? Telling me to go where I can. Such a long way I don't even know where I am Wow, that's, that's a big camera. Yeah, okay. yeah. This is the Mamiya, what, what was it? Seven? Mamiya 7, this is the 7.2. Seven seven two. Two. Okay. Just surface scratches. Okay, well the baffle's closed, that's good. That means okay. the lens should just snap right on. The lens looks scary, because I know it's a big one that you know goes in and all that kind of stuff, so I've been reading all about it. The first trick on this guy is... Yeah, I might have to reference your video, because I might not remember. Yeah, I'm gonna put it up online, so. Before you can take the lens even on or off, you have to close the baffle. Okay. So to close the baffle, this little thing here flips up, and then you just turn it, and the nice thing on the 7.2 is this is ratcheted, so you turn it, then you turn it a little bit more, and it'll click into place. So it has to be, this has to be pointed to, is there like yeah, a the, little lock see the, symbol? I see kind of there's like There's Pac-Man mouth open, Uh huh. Um, Pac-Man mouth closed. I love Pac-Man. So Pac-Man mouth closed means your baffle's closed, which means you can take your lens off. Okay. And with the baffle closed, that means that fabric curtain is there. Without the fabric curtain there, it won't let me open it with it. Okay. But without that fabric curtain there, you would be exposing film right now, if there was film in there. 
So can you theoretically change lenses while you have film in it? Absolutely. You just have to close the baffle. Okay. Can you do that on a Leica M6? Yes. I didn't know that. It's a little different on the Leica stuff okay. because that's a focal point shutter. Your shutter is right in front of your film. This is a leaf shutter, so your shutters are actually in the lenses. That's part of the reason the lenses are so expensive. But the thing that's nice about it is because your shutters are in the lenses, you will flash sync at any shutter speed. Then you just match your dot to your dot. Okay. And you turn up. Yep. Okay. And you hear it click. Yeah. And then to actually have it expose your film before you can actually take a picture, you have to open your baffle. Okay. And then before you can take the lens off, you, you have like to close to do, the baffle. you do that after you've loaded the film? Ultimately, it doesn't matter, but it's a good idea okay. just to get into that it. habit. Red is locked. That turns it off. Okay. White is ready to fire. Okay. Unless there's actually film in it, yeah. it won't fire unless you have the back All open. your tires are bad, okay. dude. So with the back closed yeah, and empty, it just won't take a picture. Put all the tires on, right? It is, like, drives around down the street. And then this was Here's a buddy multiple exposure in case you wanted to expose the same frame more than once. That's cool. That's so the thing that's the nicest about this thing is having a range finder on a district here. Is it really good?